okay dear students we are going to discuss about the gt selection rule and fermi selection rule first of all we discuss about the gt selection rule if you are not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel i provide the more videos if you supported me okay let's start the gt selection rule in beta decay process in beta decay process in beta decay process leptons are emitted that means spin of lepton is plus minus half that is the spin of lepton is plus minus 1 by 2 this is the spin if the spin orientations of lepton is parallel then the spin is plus 1 by 2 if the lepton of the spin of lepton is negative that means the electron and neutrino i mean lepton are the anti parallels okay let's see i write here the spin orientations of these lepton are anti parallel is called single state i mean the transition is only once single state the spin orientation of these lepton are anti parallel oh no parallel called tri triplet state not single state triplet state okay triple triplet state okay now we are going to discuss the gt selection rule first of all we know that in the beta decay process the spin of lepton is plus minus 1 by 2 and spin of orientation of these lepton are anti parallel or parallel if the spin orientation of lepton i mean lepton means what is lepton lepton include the uh, neutrino and electron if the electron and neutrinos are parallels is called the triplet state if the uh, lepton i mean neutrino and electron or neutrino are anti parallel called the single state in fermi selection rule we know that the fermi selection rule if you don't know please listen here what is fermi selection rule for fermi selection rule for fermi selection rule del j equal to zero i that is J i equal j i equal to j of that is electron and neutrinos that means lepton electron and neutrino that is lepton lepton are in single state i mean anti parallel state anti parallel that is single state in triple state my we can see in triple state in triple state in triplet state in triplet state in triplet states del f equal to j i plus one j i plus one this is one state triple e state means three states number two del f equal to j i and last one is j i equal to plus minus one this is the these two cases i mean single state or triple states these are in the selection rule in the fermi now we are going to gt selection rule in gt selection rule in gt rule we are going in gt rule 
in GT rule del J equal to plus minus 1 or 0 that means the zero transition is also allowed here in above in the Fermi selection rule there is no zero transition allowed it but in GT selection rule plus minus 1 0 is allowed at transition that is del J equal to JF minus JI here are the both Fermi and DT selection rule here are the both Fermi and GT selection rule del J equal to 0 look at here in the Fermi selection rule del J equal to 0 in Fermi selection rule del J equal to 0 and the uh, in GT selection rule del J equal to 0 but in GT selection rule but in GT selection rule we can say that 0 0 is a transition this is allowed a transition in the GT selection rule this is named as a forbidden transition forbidden forbidden transition this is known as the forbidden transition let's see some example of it let's see some example of it let's see some example of it oxygen 14 I set up 14 and nitrogen 14 plus neutrino anti neutrino and anti electron that is zero transitions I mean 14 oxygen to gives oxygen 14 plus this is the notation this is allowed at transitions in also a pure ZT selection is characterized by also the pure what is pure GT selection rule is characterized by del J equal to plus minus 1 in pure in pure GT selection rule in pure GT selection rule this is the most important points okay now lastly we can discuss lastly uh, what are the allowed transitions and which, which is the allowed transition or not how can explain this the allowed transition is said to be favored allowed transition is said to be favored allowed transitions is said to be favored is said to be favored Edi, if nucleon which changes which changes its charge which changes its charge remains same in the label remains same in the labels but it's said to be unfa unfavorable but it's said to be it's unfavorable unfavorables if the nucleon changes its labels is said to be favorable if nucleon changes its charge remains same is said to be unfavorable if the nucleon which changes its label must of beta decay transition must of beta decay transition must of beta decay transition allowed at beta transition are unfavorable allowed at beta transition are unfavorable please like comment and subscribe my channel Thank you.